Hello everybody. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I wanted to share with you guys a lot of the new tiny TNs that I have been acquiring over, I don't know, I would say within the last month or so. And I know, don't judge me, there is a lot. I probably will de-stash some of them, but um, because I've been using my Midoris for my original Midoris for so long, I kind of was out of the loop on what was out there and who was making what and what the new colors were and what the new leathers were. And also, too, I wanted to kind of add some color into my collection because most of my Traveler's Notebooks that I have um, were the original Midoris or they were um, other ones that were, you know, pretty, they were pretty neutral, pretty natural colors. I did have like a really cute one from Milk Shop and another one from By Paper Flower from Glenda. She had made a Tiffany Blue inspired passport size for me like over a year ago, but I wanted to add some color into my collection and just see what was out there. So I just wanted to let you guys know that these Tiny TN videos are not, they are not sponsored at all. I purchased all of these notebooks with my own money. And you guys know one of the good things about using the Traveler's Notebook system is that, you know, life changes, it evolves, and the way that we're using our notebooks, we can change and evolve that as well. And right now in my life, I'm in a place where I need a lot of inserts. I want. I was on the search for something that I could carry just one book with me and it could hold everything. And I am not one to carry a bunch of stuff that I'm actually not using. Most of everything that's in my traveler's notebooks I do actually use. I don't like carrying extra inserts or just having a bunch of stuff in my notebooks just to have it. I'm just at a point right now where I actually need the inserts that are in the traveler's notebook right now and as things change I'll be able to take those out and go back down to you know my regular Midori's or a slimmer profile but right now I actually need a, a bigger one. Um, one of my previous videos I showed you guys that I have also been doing some like art journaling well sorry about that my version of art journaling in a passport size and I did have a couple questions on that mainly again I just work in like these small books and because the pages are so small it's really easy to you know get things on the page and create pages quickly without having like a, a large space I do a lot of tip-ins I find a lot of inspiration here on YouTube from different quotes from different songs. I really like writing stuff from books. Matter of fact, this is um, the poem from Robert Frost. This is just like a clear piece of acetate. There's lots of um, just tip-ins and random collaging and things like that that I do in these little books, but because they get super chunky, um, this one's actually finished. I showed you guys this in my last video but now this insert is finished and it's really chunky so it's the only insert now that I can fit into my Midori here and I like taking project life cards and cutting them down the middle and just creating little tip-ins that way but there's a ton of videos here on YouTube and you can get a lot of ideas I actually started painting um, flowers with watercolors from Made With Crafters, um, really easy tutorial, and there's a ton of really good um, journaling videos that give you guys ideas. And again, I just like, if you're new to journaling and you want to get started and, you know, the larger pages are more intimidating, just maybe start out with like a field note size or passport size and kind of see where... You know, it goes from there. I do stamping, a lot of distress inks. I do, like I said, a lot of tip-ins, a little pull-outs. Um, I like writing on craft paper with like a white gel pen. And again, this is just like a little piece of acetate. This is also a tip-in. And 
this little card here. I have writing on the back of this library card and it was a little bit private so I just created this card and stuck it in this pocket here to kind of cover that up. So really you guys, your options are, are endless of what you can do with your journals and your inserts. But like I said, because these are so chunky, they have their own Midori, so I can't really carry them with me, but that's okay, that's all right. Right now, like I said, I'm at the point where I have a lot of stuff in my planner because I'm planning a lot of things and I need these notebooks. So here is my chunk. And as Rita said in one of her videos, embrace the chunk. So that's just what I'm doing right now. I mean, this guy is really thick. This notebook is from Buteo Bunker. I'm going to be showing you a lot of notebooks from Buteo Bunker today because I actually have all of them. I don't have some of the other ones that I have coming, but that will come in video two. But this is just the black leather. And oh my goodness, if you have not tried Buteo Bunker, I highly recommend it. They are extremely affordable. They have excellent customer service. The turnaround time is awesome. Honestly, I cannot even say enough about their company. They are awesome. They are on Etsy. I will link everything down below. But this is what I'm using right now. I change out my notebooks all the time. I showed you guys a setup video and I had everything in my camel. And I've had to... Um, like I said, add some things. I did make a few changes. I actually covered my inserts and that is something that I have not done in a while. And I don't know, I just wanted to change up the look of things a little bit. So that is what I did. And I just wanted something new to look at basically. So I just covered some of my inserts and... That is what everything looks like right now, and I apologize, the lighting is getting really bad. It's really overcast today, and it's getting dark, so I will definitely hurry up. But this is the 6 to 7 ounce leather from Buteo Bunker, and I had it dyed um, black with black elastics, and this is in the passport size with ample overhang. So that is that one. I totally understand why people are so obsessed with the A6 size. This is actually my first A6 I've ever purchased. And this is also from Buteo Bunker. And this is the 6 to 7 ounce undyed leather. And if you guys could feel this, I cannot even tell you how much I love this notebook. The hand feel of it is amazing. It's just really soft and smooth and I love it. The inside feels like suede and I mainly purchased this for my Hobonichi. And one thing I also want to mention about Buteo Bunker is that when you order a notebook from them, they always include a like an insert inside in whatever size that you order. It is not the same quality as the inserts that you purchase. So I wanted to make that clear. So this is just like a, it's free. So I mean, this is just like printer paper and they stapled it and they have like a cover. But if you're new to Traveler's Notebooks and you don't know what size you want, you don't have a lot of inserts, at least if you order from them, you do have something in there to get you started and I think that's awesome. And so I just left that in there. But I bought this mainly to hold my Hobonichi. But again, if you're on the fence, this 6 to 7 ounce undyed leather is to die for. It feels amazing and I absolutely love it. Another thing that I want to mention too is that Buteo Bunker also includes these cute little initial tags. So when you order from them, they include those and an extra piece of leather. You can see here I put it on the side. You can put it right here. You can actually put something else on it, but I think that's a very nice touch. The packaging is really cute and I just think that you know that's a really nice freebie and you can personalize your notebooks that way if you want to and yeah I just really like it so that's that one I will have to say out of all of them that I received from Buteo Bunker it has to be this guy right here 
This is the eight to nine ounce chestnut leather. Um, I didn't get any stitching or anything. And if you guys can see how floppy and amazing and soft this is, it's very soft on the inside. It's really pliable and squishy. And again, this was just the little insert that they included. And when you actually purchase inserts from Buteo Bunker, the paper and the cover is a completely different quality. So just keep that in mind. This is just a freebie, but again, it is appreciated nonetheless. But, oh my gosh, this, this leather is, I don't even know. I, I love this. I love, love, love this notebook so much. And as soon as I get done filming, I'm actually going to move my chunk into this guy. So I super love this. Um, I was talking about adding some color into my collection, so I did purchase quite a few of, I wanted to try some of the colors that Buteo Bunker offers, and I mainly ordered these guys to house my chunky art journal inserts once they are filled, and so I wanted to get, you know, fun colors. I added these, um, little charms, but this is the Slate Gray with pink stitching and pink elastics. Now this leather is the four to five ounce, so it's really thin, and you can kind of hear how it sounds. And just keep in mind too, guys, if you ever have any leather, you know, dyed, and you can hear the sound too. So this one is thin, but it's very, very lightweight. It's very durable. And again, I just thought this was really cute just to kind of house my art journals whenever they are completed. So that's what, these are going to be used for, but just keep in mind that when leather is dyed, it does alter the natural characteristics because, you know, leather is a natural material. So it, it does feel different. So the hand feel is different. The smell, depending a little bit, um, depending on who you get it from, can be different as well. So just keep that in mind. And... My doggy is in here, so I apologize if you hear him, but I just live here. He just lets me live here and pay the bills, basically. This is his house. So, anyway, that is that. And this one, the 4 to 5 ounce leather, like I said, it's pretty thin. I also picked up in this color as well, and this is really beautiful color. This is actually called Magenta, I believe. And you can compare it to the fuchsia. The fuchsia is definitely more pink. The magenta has a purple tinge to it, I guess you could say. And this reminds me of my favorite, one of my favorite J. Urban inks. And I just really liked it. And again, I just added a couple little charms because these are going to be housing my art journals. They stay at home. For the notebooks that I actually carry with me that I use all the time, Again, on my Traveler's Notebook journey and my evolution, I found that I'm not one to really like a lot of things like hanging from the bottom or even on here or on the side. I don't have, I don't have like a lot of really big bookmarks and tags and ribbons and stuff that a lot of people have. And it looks beautiful. It, it's really cute. Don't get me wrong. But for me personally, that stuff kind of gets in the way. It gets hung up on stuff in my bags. All of the cute little clips and stuff, you know, that everybody has um, at the top of their notebooks. They end up at the bottom of my bag anyway, or bent, or broken. And so, now I just like to have things, you know, pretty functional and pretty sleek. And, you know, if I want pretty, I can always decorate the inside. But, um... Anyway, keep going because I know my family's going to want to eat dinner soon. So those two are the 4 to 5 ounce leather. And this is also done in slate gray. And I just love this color. This leather is the 6 to 7 ounce. And as you can see, it is thicker than the 4 to 5. But again, too... If you notice, if you compare it to the A6 leather, which is the same thickness, you can tell that this dyed one does not appear as thick and supple anymore as the undyed. So I just wanted to let you guys know that.
I also love this color as well. And this is indigo. I haven't done anything with um, this guy yet. And so when you ha order the stitching, they leave a little bit on the bottom extra so you can tie your, um, your bookmarks. And if you want to put charms or anything like that on there, you can do that as well. And so I just left this like that. But this is, I found that with the dyed, with the dyed covers, I do prefer the six to seven ounce more than the four to five. And this is still pretty soft and pliable. And the inside is still beautiful and gorgeous. And it doesn't feel as plasticky as the thinner one. So this still feels, I guess I would say this has like a, better hand feel than the thinner leather but you may prefer that and again those notebooks are really lightweight and so <clears throat> if you prefer a lighter weight notebook you can always go that route as well at least it is an option and I I know that the pocket size aka field note size travelers notebooks are super popular and that planner community and everybody loves them but for me I don't know why they just don't resonate with me I love the passport size but the field note size and I don't really get along and I've come to the conclusion again and this is from using travelers notebooks for a long time and using different inserts I am a Midori insert girl bar none hands down I am not one of those people who like having a lot of like fold outs and complicated trackers and don't get me wrong there's some people out there that you know purchase these inserts and they're beautiful they're good quality they're well done from Etsy sellers and they do really well with them me personally I don't and I've just figured that out from trial and error just trying out different inserts with different notebooks different sizes I don't I found out that I don't really like field note paper and because I like using my fountain pens and I'm super stoked because you know Midori came out with a lightweight paper for passport size so I am definitely found my jam with that and again um, people like different things and there's a ton of options out there so everyone should be able to find something that definitely works for them I do use one field note size notebook and this one is from Chic Sparrow and this is the Outlander in Jitney Red and oh my gosh this leather is also amazing the hand feel of this the smell of this you guys know I mean Chic Sparrow does an awesome job too I do use field notes in this this I notebook I use for my faith and spiritual stuff so I do have field note size inserts in here as well I also figured out that I don't like having I made a ton of like these laminated dashboards before and had all this all these extra folders and all these dashboards all of that stuff I found that I really don't like having all of that stuff either I like to have my inserts you know pretty pretty clean and I like to have most of them you know all the same everything the same size everything the same brand I don't know that's just me which is kind of how my brain works how I like to have things set up but I did purchase a this fuchsia field note size and this is also from Buteo Bunker this is in the six to seven ounce leather and I haven't done anything with this guy yet either but the color is beautiful and again if you like the you know the bright colors I highly recommend um, Buteo Bunker because it's really affordable and the quality is amazing. And you do have this option, if you guys can see here, where the elastics are sewn in from the inside and it has this little reinforcement thing here so that way you don't see the elastics from the outside, which I really like. And this is an insert from Buteo Bunker actually and it's a storyboard and if you can hear this paper it's really slick and smooth and thick very good quality so this is the fuchsia if you guys are interested in that 
And, <clears throat> excuse me, the last passport size I purchased from Buteo Bunker is in the 6 to 7 ounce undyed leather with lilac elastics. Again, I'm just in love, in love, in love with this leather. It has to be my favorite by far. And I will show you guys one that I've had for a long time. And this is how it looks after, I think this is, I've had this for about a year now. And you can see how beautiful the leather is and how it's patinaed. And it's just, it's beautiful. I love it. And it stays thick and supple and smooth. And it's awesome. <clears throat> the last one I'm going to show you guys is from By Paper Flower. And a lot of you are familiar with Glenda Swan. And she makes custom notebooks. And she does unique designs like nobody else and I super love her stuff and I saw one of Rita's videos and she had this Jane in the field note size I was like oh my gosh I have to have that in passport so I messaged Glenda right away and here it is I love this so much it's got the book spine she added these little charms um, it also has the stitching there is the inside pocket set up. I love it. There's a big pocket here behind the secretarial pocket plus the pin loop. And this is amazing. I also have a two more on the way from her. A custom one that her and I are working on. And also a Pride and Prejudice version of this guy. And then I also have three coming from Speckled Fawns. I was hoping to have the first one here by now to show you guys in this video but it's okay at least I'll have some stuff to show you guys in the next one but anyway um, I did have a question before about leather and you know the variances and how do you pick leather and the quality and all of that stuff and honestly again you know leather is a natural material and it is gonna vary I mean, it, it just is. And I have a lot of respect and a lot of reverence toward the leather and the animals. That's just, I mean, that's just me. I'm just saying, I'm just speaking from my heart and for myself. And um, it doesn't bother me because I know that leather is going to look different. It is going to feel different. When we add stitching and we add pockets and the notebooks get thicker, when we add dye to them, yes, it is definitely going to change the natural characteristics of the leather. It's just something that, you know, does happen. Of course, we all have our preferences as far as aesthetic goes, or aesthetics and hand feel and all of that. And I totally, totally understand that. I totally get it. Um, for me, each one is unique. They're all special. Like I said, I have a lot of respect and reverence for the leather and... You know, I do expect differences. It is going to happen. It, it is something that, you know, natural scarring and, you know, scratches and dings and dents on leather is definitely going to happen. For some people, they love that. They love how it becomes more rustic with wear. And then other people like things to look more pristine. Um, one of the things that you can do is when you are ordering from someone, if you prefer... A specific texture or a piece of leather you know let the seller know that like if you prefer something that's more smooth and less textured you can do that as well and that way you won't be really shocked or disappointed once you receive your notebook and I will just say to another thing is that you know if I show a notebook or something here on my channel it's because I love it I love the artisan I love the seller and I have nothing but good things to say about them all the way around. I have had negative experiences before and I'm not the type of person to get on YouTube and start bashing someone. I just don't say anything at all. And so, like I said, my experience with Uteo Bunker and Chic Sparrow and By Paper Flower have all been great and that's why I was really excited to share these things with you guys. And I'm really excited to share some other ones that I have coming. And let me know if you guys are into the whole tiny TN trend. Are you guys really into 
the A6? Are you do you like the field note size? Do you like the passport size? Definitely let me know. And let me know if you guys have any questions at all, something that I didn't cover or you saw something or just whatever you guys. I love to chat and conversate and talk to you guys about notebooks all the time. But again, I totally understand why people love this A6 size. It feels really good in the hands and I may actually find a use to use another one in the future. I'm not sure. I know I have like the Epica CD Premium notebook in the 4x6 and it may fit in here. I may try that. So, but anyway, you guys take care and again, let me know if you have any questions or comments and have a good evening and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.